We are playing a familiar foe, but at home this time, the Nashville Predators. Always going to be good vibes when we play the team that I took control of in the last NHL 13 series. And uh, we are finally able to snap out of a bit of a funk that we've been in by defeating the Tampa Bay Lightning 2 to nothing. Of course, remember this game against the Panthers. Somewhere down here is the scoring summary. It was lost in a shootout. So we lost that game in a shootout. But then going back to L.A., losing uh, in regulation. We'll get a chance to get revenge, on, exact revenge for that game soon in a game in L.A. But then winning over the Flyers big. But some losses coming out of the All-Star break. So you can see that we, we had a big win streak here, but we have not been playing our most consistent hockey coming out of the other side of the All-Star break. We welcome Shea Weber, Pecorine, and the Nashville Predators to the nation's capital tonight. And we're going to go with Brayden Holpe again, coming off of a beautiful, should I just say it? I'll probably jinx it anyway. Um, Brayden Holpe coming off of a shutout victory over the Tampa Bay Lightning. Not that I'm expecting him to do that again, but we have a huge break. Well, uh, it's like a four or five game or something like that. We have like four or five days off after this game in a row before our next tilt. So might as well get Brain Holpe another game. I mean, he deserves it. He's he's uh, He's got the hot hand in the net, I guess you could say. So you just you ride the hot hand as far as net minding is concerned. Nice cross rink feed, and we'll get it back to OV. Okay, something went wrong on that play. Play, that's Holby, that's your chance to play the puck, but that's fine. We'll just try to pin Fisher, but we do a poor job of attempting to do that. Blocked by Orlov in front. We're going to just rim it. And Blum, Jonathan Blum, he will play it behind the red line. Skates it all the way back to Pecorine, practically. <laughs> and uh, it worked. They got the breakout going this way. Mike Fisher now to the outside. We're going to defend the inside. You're not getting the inside so easily. Okay, block it. If it comes through, it's not going to get blocked. It won't get on net for that matter anyway. And we handle with Alsner to Alex Ovechkin who dangles. Dangles a second. Well, attempted to dangle a second time. But Nick Spaling comes away with it up to Rene Bork. Or Gabriel Bork. Rene, why did I say Rene Bork? Wrong Bork. Rene Bork is Montreal. who We played in the Stanley Cup Final. And Gabriel Bork is the man who pretty much led us to the Stanley Cup Final in the Nashville series. Single-handedly. Had one of the best playoffs. Won the Conn Smythe Trophy. As a result, you can thank me and my hard work as the handyman in control of the gaming controller. So, all credit should go to me for that, Gabriel Bork. But anyway, <laughs> that series is long and behind us. We're doing a different series with a different team. I've got a new team now, and that'll be across to Ribeiro. We're going to cut back against that. Back to the point. It's wide open. Green trying to walk the middle, but it's not available. The middle was not available. Nashville defending really well in this game early on. We're going to send this back in as we intelligently should do. We'll get after Roman Yossi, who kind of ate it there in the corner. Probably not playing the minutes that I had him playing in the Nashville series. And this is just be this is a real dump and chase game. Nice little play with the stick there. That keeps the puck in. And now we just we have no choice but to send that back out to neutral zone. And it's chased down by number 19, Bobby Butler. Bobby Butler. Where'd the puck go? I don't know what happened to the puck off of Troy Brower. So it's good to see that Bobby Butler, number 19, is uh, back in the lineup for the Predators and trying to do big things. We got a nice shot away there with Brower, who's welcomed back to the lineup with open arms after coming off of an injury. I, I will say this, you can't have Kyle Comiskey. You have uh, some guy named Picard. You can't have Kyle Comiskey because I have control of him right now. He's a Washington Capital, and he is all mine. Once again, might lead my team to another Stanley Cup on the back of Kyle Comiskey or the back of a dangling 
Nick Backstrom. Not quite, though. There we go. Kumi yeah, that's why I have Kumiski. That's why I got him. Great poke check. Forcing an offside on the Predators. Sergei Kostitsin, do you have anywhere near the... How many did he have? A 40-something goal season? He had a great season with me in control of the Predators. I'm just reminiscing on the Nashville series. Yeah, I have to. We're playing the Predators. I just don't think that... The, pre the Predators are good in this, by the way. They're second in the West right now. Second place in the West. They don't need me to be the GM or head coach or whatever the hell my official title was and, and currently is with the Washington Capitals. I do everything. I control the players. I play as the players. I decide which lines get out there, so I do all the coaching decisions, but I also do the management side of things, too. I go outside free agents, and I, I mean, I, I've turned off trades, so trades are not a thing, but I would trade if I could. You know, Alzner, if you don't get back on this play, I'll trade you. And it's not even possible to trade you in this game mode. Oh, the glass rattles free on that check from Ovechkin on Philip Forsberg. And Forsberg, I think the glass absorbed more of that than Forsberg absorbed from Ovechkin. So, that is a very weak pane of glass in that case. Can't seem to really get any... No one can get anything going as Weber flips this off of a body, a Washington body. Oh, that's something I wanted to mention. So we turned the penalties up for both sides. Way up. Just jack the penalty sliders up for both teams. We might get a slew of penalties in this game. Who knows? I'm just trying to get a lot of calls against... Really, for both teams. Um, I'm not trying to make it lopsided in favor of one team. I would like to see our team get one, and Erat gets the goal on the rebound. We just kind of threw that there. And Marty Erat has back-to-back -back games with a goal. He had the empty netter at the end of the last one. It's just 12 on the season. Johansson just kind of flipped it there. Low pad save for Rene. He was way out of position on the rebound. As You know, we should go to school on that because that was a weakness of Pecorine's in the Nashville series. He is a rebound machine. If you shoot it low enough, you'll get plenty of rebound chances. Oh, the you can barely hear it. We have a new goal song for the Washington Capitals. I should have altered the volume, and that might be something I'll have to do in uh, the future when I'm not playing this game mode. Ovi going after Wilson. I think that's Colin Wilson. And the rebound from not just Rene, but also rebounds being given up by Graydon Holpe. Ovechkin, Zeeks, and Dangles cuts back. Shoots from or passes to Orlov who shoots. Al Gill is going to be tarnished in the corner and will draw a penalty. So his slow skating skills have helped him and the natural predators to the game's first power play. I would have preferred not to have taken a penalty on that play, but we had to go at Hal Gill. I didn't see what the call was. I, it might be boarding, but that was not the indication from the referee, I think. But I mean, a boarding is a fair call if that's what you're going to call it. It is checking from behind. Boarding is a different signal than what the referee gave, so yeah, apparently that's checking from behind. And a Nashville's about smack in the middle as far as how good their power play is. A little bit better than than average, than middle of the pack. Nice play there, Alsner. Oh, yeah. Dom Moore, if you want this, go. Oh, Obi fell. Obi got knocked down. And it almost ended up leaking through Rene on that pass through. Ovechkin gets a piece of somebody. I'm not sure if it's... Uh, Mike Fisher. All right, go the full length of the ice, and uh, I might try to get it to you. Ovechkin against Weber. That is, there's an all-star combination for you, although Ovechkin did not actually make the all-star game this year due to games missed because of an, an injury, but he surely would have been there had he not been injured. Oh, we're really on top of it in the middle. Great penalty killing so far, honestly. I can't say that I have any gripes with this penalty kill right now. No, you're not getting the puck so easily to the point. We want to defend the middle. We'll give them a little bit of that pass to Blum. And that's a big save. Fought off by Braden Holpe. Taking Art to the net. And it's going to spin to the corner. We got to defend the net front. Well, oh, covered up. Well, if they're, okay. And that'll kill it off. And we might go one-on-one -on -one here. We, we have no choice. Oh, yeah. Man, back from his money with that. That is back from his money shot. That windmill into a... Oh, Please, Holpe, don't let that in. Ooh, that was a really interesting dump in by the Nashville Predators. Deliberate, perhaps? That's flung wide, but they're just trying to create chaos in front, and they have. And they fling one back on, and they do continue creating chaos. First guy dives. And he, uh, knowing I wasn't going to get to that, that was an interesting play. Rebound, and we'll go to another penalty kill. 
So Nashville has gotten the game's first two power plays. Brooks like I just hit the mic cable with my arm. What did Brooks like do? Oh, he shoved Kostitsin, who didn't even have the puck. And they're going to call it roughing. That's tough, because that's an AI player that took that penalty. So I was responsible for the first one with the check to uh, Hal Gill in the corner. That's not going to stop me from doing this shorthanded. I'm not going to stop. Just a little warning to you, Nashville. There you go, Dom Moore. Get all over that. Get, get all over it. No, no easy zone entries here. No. Oh, they got that puck. Nice little pickup toward the corner, but they play it all the way out of the zone. So a lot of good that did the Nashville Predators. We have 12 on 12. Dom Moore on Mike Fisher. Not so easily here, Fisher. Oh, he got the middle. And he floated it over the head of Holpe. Stand your ground defensively. There you go, Backstrom. So... Do we... I'm going to surprise him with a little move to the inside. Backstrom. Oh, that led to a big collision. Not the smartest deke. But if there's one man that can go through a defense... Oh! That kicks out through the, through the crease. Turned aside again by Holpe. Holpe has been busy in this first period. That's what happens when you take penalties, man. He's got to stay out of the box. So the penalty slider has really not been uh, favorable or helpful to us so far. Dom Moore has a windmill. He has that loose puck deke. Goes around everyone. Oh, my God, Dom Moore. Holy crap. Going around everybody. Just turn it on. There you go, Brooks. Like, rebound there for Backstrom. And Rene spits it out. I don't know if I would have done that. But it has gotten the puck over the red line for the Predators. And dumped in subsequently. Flung out the center. This is the Marty Erat. Spinorama moves special. He does a deke. He pulls to the inside. Scores! Marty Erat. Two goals in the game. How about that? Didn't really do anything particularly fancy or special, but made a nice move to get space for himself to have a shot lane. That little move almost drew a high sticking penalty and then just fired it uh, with a wicked wrister past Pecorine. Don't know if the screen from Yossi helped down on that or not, but I'll take it. It is a 2 to nothing advantage. 2 to nothing for Marty Erat. He is... Let's take the Capitals to this lead at the end of the first period of play. Nice job. And also, we can get this puck up. Oh, we just missed Ribeiro. He's harassing Weber, but Weber is just going to hold on to the puck and send it out to center ice to finish off the first period of play. Well, they say insanity is to keep doing the same thing and expecting different results. Well, I want to keep doing the same thing, and I want to continue getting the same result. Oh, Wolski. Nice. That was a great pass. I honestly was not looking at Wolski. I was looking at Backstrom in the middle of the slot, in the middle of the rink, and it ended up on the stick of Wolski on the other side. That was actually really good. Had that gone in, that would have been perfect. Start the period with a, a goal, get up to a, a 3 to nothing advantage, which I feel like at this point would be very difficult for Nashville to overcome considering how we're playing. So far, through two periods of play, or one period of play, early into the second period of play. That's a goal. Oh my goodness, Bork. He is money. He's, he's got a great shot, really. Gabriel Bork does have that great shot. He hit the crossbar there behind Holby, and we're bailed out by it. We're gonna, just trying to get it out. Yes, the Marty Erat. Oh, fends off that one. Deeks. It ends up on the stick alike. It ends up going on net on Rene. Big rebound given up, though, again. Couldn't really get a cleanest handle. That'll be shot. Into the glove of Rene covered there. Good possession for the Predator or for the Predators for the Capitals. Not such a good possession for the Predators. It's gonna take me a while to get over saying Predators because I'm just so used to it, right? I mean, I just did a series with these guys. It's a good and a good series it was. I think this one tops it, to be honest, so far. And we're not even barely more than halfway through the season. So there's a lot to be played out. Oh, Ovechkin's all over Roman Yossi. But no one's all over Hornquist, except maybe Alsner, forcing a dump in here. No one's really able to retrieve that on our side. I'm sending this right on the tape to Alex Ovechkin. Yep, let's go. Protect the puck. Move to the inside. Oh, what a dandy skate to stick move by Ovechkin. We're pulling off the handles again. This is just like the Flyers game. Getting vibes with that, uh, getting vibes of that Flyers game that we played not that long ago, where all we could do was just pull off sick dangles. We made a nice play with it with Wotek Wolski. It's Hal Gill, so you can take your time because you can score a goal. 
Yeah! Can you complain with this? I do need to turn up the gold horn. I'll be silent for a second. Yeah, I don't think you can really hear the gold horn. I tried to go radio silence to see if you can really hear it. You can't really hear it. I'll turn it up in post for the next home game. Guarantee you that. I'll turn it up for our next home game. If I can remember to do that. Um, but anyway, for now, we're, I, I picked a great night to score a bunch of goals, right? Where you can't hear the goal horn anyway. A new goal horn. Oh, yeah. That's... Oh, yeah. That should have been a penalty in my mind. Eric Fair. All right. Just doing a great job of protecting the puck right now. Here you go. Back to Fair. Oh, my God. Fair's offside. All right. He, he brought his momentum way beyond the blue line. I was just trying to do a little bit of give-and-go passing there. Back and forth. Tick and tack we go. No, why would you dump the puck in, Nashville? I mean, I'm not necessarily complaining, but that just did not make any sense to dump the puck in on that. Oh, fair. You got to dangle. Yeah, he had a lot of pressure coming on real soon. Looks like he got hooked in the pro. I think he got hooked. They have not called anything on Nashville. There was one on the hands just a few moments ago as well, coming up through the middle of the rink that they didn't call on the Predators as well. So we're not getting a whole lot of calls right now. Alsner bumped behind the net. Has it. Has to get away from the four check. We get it up to Brooks Lake. Now on the wing. Johansson will just chip it in behind his defender. That's Bobby Butler defending. Is he playing D? He's hanging back and playing D. I don't know why he's playing D. That's just an interesting choice. I mean, I know what he's capable of on the penalty kill. Which the Predators haven't had to be on yet. And that'll be an icing on us. Fair enough. Yeah. It, 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 it's... it's it's a pretty good game. I, I gotta say, I don't have a whole lot of complaints with the way we're playing. We're out hitting Nashville as well. 15 to 5. Gotta get the puck out. Their four check is pretty ag aggressive. They're pretty tenacious. That reminds you of. Oh my! Joe Hansen. Hope the lid is strapped on tight for that one. That was a wild ride. And they still have. How did Kostitsin have the puck? You know, I'm not even surprised. That's just the kind of player Kostitsin is. We've created a foot race. Between Erat and Blum, and Blum has temporarily won it. But Shea Weber, the Norris Trophy winner from the last series. Could be a Norris Trophy contender in this as well. I mean, having a great season probably. I haven't looked at the stats, but it just wouldn't surprise me if he is in that conversation. And we will bank it perfectly for Johansson. All right, we'll sidestep that down low to Brooks Like. A little tough handle for Brooks Like to get the puck on that. Alsner interrupted. Whoever that was, Holtby changed his mind last moment. You can't change your mind at the last moment that you're not going to play the puck to the point now. Blockered away off the glass as well. And I'm just trying to buy time so we can get the puck to the great eight. That'll be deflected home. Oh, not quite deflected home. I really thought so. But how Gill got the stick in the lane on that return pass. And I don't know if this is the shot. For, yeah, this is how Gill shot from the point. You know, he scored a few sneaky goals from the point, from the blue line in our Nashville series as well. So keep him in mind when he has it at the point he can launch that cannon. The Predators have been winning most of the face-offs in this game, and they've won yet another one. I don't know who Picard is. He's got to be a free agent pickup because there was no Picard in the system when I had control of Nashville in our season mode. Bad turnover by Jeff Schultz. Ribeiro's down here playing D. And that was fought off as well by Brain Holpe. So he continues his great play from the last game. Trying to figure out if Butler is playing the forward position or on defense. We just can't get it out right now. Such is the nature of the Nashville forecheck at the moment. And Spaling is not scoring. Wilson tracks it down on the half wall. Back to Blum on the point. Holpe should just cover and just slow the game down. Remember that with Nashville, we ran a 1-2-2 forecheck, which is very aggressive. We like that aggressive forecheck. I haven't really paid attention to the exact formation that they have run on the forecheck, but it is aggressive. I can tell you that playing against it. They're right up in your grill, uh, and they're not making life easy trying to break the puck out, and that's also out of play off the stick of Holtby. I felt like he'd been he'd have been busier than 15 shots on goal to this point, but I mean 15 through two periods of play, not bad work from the Nashville Predators. 
Backstrom, you gotta have work with me. This might be the first time we have to dump it in. We'll dump it in on net, not my intention. Wolski may have got a piece of that as well after it was played out by Pulpy, oh, or uh, Rene. Again, I get the goaltender mixed up for some reason, and that's a penalty on Wolski. Ugh. The good news is we're up 3 to nothing, so we are in control of the game, but the way we're playing a little bit right now, we've been a little bit spastic with it, and it feels like we're kind of not really in control of a game that we're leading 3 to nothing. if that makes any sense. If you can be up 3 to nothing and yet feel like you don't have control of the game, this is it. It feels like, it feels like momentum is sliding a little bit in Nashville's favor, and yet another power play, not a single call against the Predators, not that we've needed a power play or a power play goal in this game. Schultz... Maybe trying to fake out the Predators with that missed breakout play. All right. Uh, where do you want to go with it, Dom Moore? I made a tough play. All right, but that's fine. Just send it back. On deflected. Ovechkin. A deflection goal. I don't think we've seen one of those. And shorthanded as well, for good measure. Just send it to the point, man, who I decided we should just get it right back in. I just felt like we needed to get the puck right back in, pl not play around with it at the blue line. So if Ovechkin wants to play net front, that's fine with me if you'll be deflecting him into the back of the net like that. And I think Ovechkin has back-to-back -back games with a goal. He does. He did score on Lynn back, didn't he? And we're up 4 to, no four to nothing in control of the game. Brayden Holtby just doing what he does best. Erskine doing what he does best, breaking sticks. And I, not that I know if he's done that multiple times this season or not, but he has done it on this occasion. So I don't know if we lead the league in shorthanded goals. We, we did with Nashville. Okay, Green is going to take this. You know, Backstrom's really behind it. We'll just do a little dangle. Nice strip of the puck there by Backstrom. He's protected the puck away from the corner. We'll just take it, roll it to the net, and it bounced off of Rene as the Predators look worse on the power play than I expected them to. That'll be Ovechkin, who has a goal shorthanded on this particular kill. Could do it again. All the net for the Nashville Predators. So there you go. Uh, is Chris Mason just injured or not existing? There you go. Three shorthanded goals this season. I didn't even know that coming into this game. So cool little stat there for you. And I'll just send this back down low. Dominic Moore lets it go. So maybe that was his strategic decision to let that go. He knows what he's doing. Ovechkin run over Hornquist. Well, he did. Have a meeting with Hornquist down there. Wolski trying to get on that. And it will go back out of the zone. And a penalty called against, again, the Washington Capitals. So I turned up the sliders, especially for the opposing team. But we just are the only team that can take penalties. And Ovechkin can't score shorthanded this time. Because he's the one taking the seat in the box. He didn't like Patrick Hornquist for some reason. <laughs> I guess he didn't like that Hornquist... Didn't absorb all of the contact on the play initially in the corner earlier on that shift. And so he just had to get a good piece of him. Make sure that Ornquist learned his lesson. That's saved by Alzner who ate it in the corner. Oh boy, Alzner pulled that off the goal line. And then boy did he proceed to receive a big one in the corner. That's played off of Blum into Ald. And we have a two on one. Drop. Yes, the stick of Jeff Schultz. You're not getting one power on the power play tonight. Sorry. Erskine pulling up, drawing the attention. Brooks Light trying to go five hole on Ald, and it's covered there. Who, we look better shorthanded. We look like we're the team on the power play when Nashville has the power play. So I'm, I don't know what this says about you guys. Just your power play sucks. That's the only thing that it says. Go fix yourselves or don't. Fix yourselves for future games, just not for this game. This will be the last meeting between ourselves and the Predators on the season. This is just a great effort from Alsner just to keep the puck from coming down here on a breakaway. Oh, Hornquist did him dirty. Good stick there, recovering by Alsner. Having a great defensive effort on this shift. Back to the point it goes. Kostitsin's running the point. Blocked in front. You guys might want to set that Shea Weber power play goal up from the top of the circles. We have that set up too, but we have a man wearing number eight, and his name is Ovechkin, and he's sitting in the box right now. This is a good time for a Nick Backstrom goal. Oh, I was, no, I was really going to try to dangle, and he just shot it. Surprising off the rush. And that should be it for the period. One more save for good measure. Brayden Holby, you're doing great work, buddy. One more period. Keep it up. Don't keep up taking penalties. That's got to be it for the, for the whole evening for us. We need a few power plays of our own. And, I mean, 
It's not even for scoring goals sake. It's just we deserve some calls as well, right? I mean, you called them all against our team so far in the game. Where, where are our power plays? We'll just send that in off a of Predators player. Fair sits down Shea Weber. You know how difficult that is to do? Well, I mean, I don't know. I feel like it would be difficult to sit Shea Weber down, but then again, I'm uh, not the same size as an NHL hockey player. Nowhere near the same size as Shea Weber. That's going to be flown wide of the net. Protect the puck. Alsner, bank it out. Bank to Backstrom. And Nick Backstrom, you can dangle. Jonathan Blum, he has. Oh, my God. Backstrom is really putting it all on display tonight. He's had a couple of those. And he just hasn't finished off the play. That'll be wide. Yeah, this is... It's time to go to school on this Nashville Predators team. Show... I don't know the first name of the goaltender, but show all what it's all about. Wearing number 20 as well. That's not a common number for a goaltender. You don't see that very frequently. I'm guessing he's a free agent pickup. They probably had an injury at goaltender at some point. We didn't have that uh, in the Nashville series. And we haven't. Oh, no. Erat, man, he had a great turnover. He could get one here. He does. He just floats it across the rink as Hal Gill picks it up and dumps it in. Can't really say that I can ask for much more of our team except just let's. Okay, we're tied up with Forsberg for some reason. That worked out to his benefit. Philip Forsberg's benefit, that is. Kamiski on who's wearing 22 for the Predators. We're going to get it up to Johansson. Perfect geometry skills on that one. And not perfect geometries. We're going offside. Didn't help us out with that offside there. I want Nick Backstrom to continue windmilling because he could have that highlight reel goal that finishes it all off tonight. He just keeps it up. Ald will play it. Awkward bank pass. Oh! Nearly caught him out. Wolski, you are a genius. Nearly caught him out as he was just getting back to the net. The Nashville netminder just getting himself back to the net after playing it kind of carelessly. And that'll be knocked down. Backstrom can't get it away as Picard will send it back in. Move it there. Green from Schultz. Wide open is Ovechkin. Yeah, Nick Backstrom floats it on with the backhander. Ovechkin, dangle to the inside, gets it right back. Skate to stick move, trying to go between the two defenders. Didn't work out. Backstrom on the back check. Helped out Schultz, made that an easier play for Schultz. And Marty Erat, we can we'll cut move to the middle. Going for the hat trick. I don't blame you, take the shot. You got a chance at a hat trick, go get it. He's not really getting as fancy with the Deeks in this game. We know what he is capable of, but the important thing for him is he's getting into open space to shoot, and great screen by Johansson, I think, driving the net. Making that a lot lot trickier of a save for all than it would be otherwise. I mean, he still made the save, though. Made him have to work for that one. Oh, it's going to deflect the fair. It's the timing of that deflection. It made it awkward for fair when in the place that he received it. And we'll have to... Well, okay, Holpe's going to leave it. I was going to say, we may get help from Holpe playing that puck. All right, if you join the play, you can get a one-timer. Okay, good job. Way to take way to take the one-timer, Ribeiro. You really made that play look brilliant. There he goes. All right, we're going to have to step to the middle. We'll cut to the middle. Blocked. Perfectly timed stick lift, too, with fair on that. Across. Oh, no! Oh, hold! What a great glove save by Ald. Might be the save of the freaking game, honestly, right there. That's deflecting wide. Go get it, Orlov. One thing I note about this difficulty is you see a lot of odd bounces in this difficulty. For some reason or another, lost it to Shea Weber. Who else? One doesn't have a whole lot of help, does he? Skating this puck through the middle. Now it's Kostitsyn. You're not going to get an easy goal here. In Nashville at this point, you may not even get a goal at all in this game. Do you try the Marty Erat spin around my move? He cuts back, shoots high, and it will be covered by Ald. Not that the objective from out there is to score. I was trying to do a deke, but I mean, he won't spin a rama. I don't know how to consistently do, do that. I have figured out the more consistent way to... Uh, to windmill. Now it's a, how do I spin a rama every time? And then I abuse that deke as well. Hey, a good windmill is very effective, number one. And it just looks cool when you score on it. 
Got some good interchanging patterns. That was not supposed to be Ovechkin's puck. Oh, out of reach for Green. We'll just hammer this one. But it will be blocked on the way through. Off the outside of the net. Ovechkin against Gill. And the puck is now carried back through center. Yossi might dump it in. He does. We've been forcing Nashville to do this the whole game. It just feel, we feel like it, I, it. To me, it feels like we're just a team that just can't be competed with. Oh, and it's, at least when Ovechkin's not doing that. We're playing the back check, though. I mean, we're just trying to write this game off now as a victory. That's all we're trying to do in the final stages here, the closing stages of this third period. That's not a bad spot. Oh, saved by Holtby, just making you do a little extra work to get this thing. The thing that shall not be named. Brower to Moore, and we might have to chip this past the Nashville defenders. Oh, Erat, you should have knocked that puck further back in. Fisher is defended well. And saved again. Well, well, we played it already. That's a penalty. Well, I mean, we're doing the one thing we've been able to do consistently all evening. Take penalties. Do you think that could deflect toward the empty net? It won't quite. Not on this chance. Yeah, you can't break out when you have a tough four check, can you? Poke to like. Hornquist still gets it, so this is still a delayed call. And we just should go poking at it. See if we can poke it back into their open net. <laughs> they still have it. Are you kidding me? And it's finally touched up. It will be a double minor for high sticking to Jeff Schultz. So we're going to definitely spend the rest of this game pretty much, I guess, shorthanded. Not, we've, we've been a beast on the shorthanded kill. We've had, we have a shorthanded goal in this game. It came from Alex Ovechkin, who will be on this kill. Four shots on four power plays, so they have registered one shot per power play so far on goal. That might change with this double minor, but I could care less about that. That'll be missed. They don't even connect on that pass. Rink wide toward the corner. Blocked by Green. And he will skate it away out to center. He's working with Alex Ovechkin. That'll be a time to pull up. We will hit a darting Ovechkin. Looking to get another one shorthanded. And all covers. He's seen more action killing penalties than our goaltender has. Holtby has hardly seen any shots shorthanded so far. It's still at four, I think, is the total as they open up this power play. That'll miss. But Alsner is right on top of it. Interesting pinch shorthanded. Normally, I don't know if you would advise a defenseman to pinch shorthanded like that, but we have. And it's uh, our shorthanded unit really knows what it's doing. Skate the stick move. Yes, there it is. Oh, Brooks like. Whoa, almost did it. Maybe did a little too much. I'd say almost not doing enough right now. Oh, my. Ovechkin's darting to the net. I can't pass him up. I had to get it to him. Can't pass that up. That'll be on net. Bobbled by Holpe, but eventually caught and played dangerously. Whacked further forward. Alsner now finds Ovechkin. Headman pass. Two minutes to go on the kill. Less than that to go in the game. Ovechkin still has the puck. Turns and fires. And Ald will cover it. He doesn't want to see another OV shorthanded goal. He's looking for number four on the season right now. I don't. I think we were, we were going to see that interesting save Holpe had. And we win it again. Erskine. Not rejected by the stick, so we could just float this back in. I'm just going to shoot it from outside, but miss the net. Get back on your defensive position. Now you're just really playing for your goalie now. That's all you need to do. <laughs> rejected forcefully by Erskine. He said, get that out of here. No, 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 no. Not today. <laughs> what the hell, Roman Yossi? He gave up on that play. He left his feet completely. As I kind of stick handled around him with uh, Nick Backstrom. Still, despite that, can't buy a goal. Oh, no! No! <laughs> That's how the shutout ends. Oh, come on. Brain Holby was on his way to back-to-back -to -back shutouts. Oh, that's an unlucky bounce. Nick Spaling, you are so lucky. It literally, he played it. The four, oh, the, I don't even know what happened. The four check was effective from Mike Fisher. Just as Holby was getting back in his net. And it goes right to Spaling. It bounced right to him. Three seconds from a shutout. I didn't say the word in this game.
I think I said it at the beginning of the episode. And I wonder if I jinxed it. But I don't think I jinxed it with that. I mean, it was just an unlucky play. But hey, two points in the bag. A big victory. And we pay Nashville back for the win that they got over us when they defended home ice. So it's nice to defeat them in this season mode.